Hey there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great today? Going back to 2022 Salt Lake City for a great 10,000 by Graham Fish. In our estimation, one of the greatest 10,000 meters ever skated. The only person to skate faster than Graham Fish is Nick Vanderpaul. And we know he's he, he became a god very fast. And um, Graham Fish has the race of his life here for several reasons. Even laps to negative split. You always want to have that in a distance race. Excellent track pattern. Perfect skating, technical timing, and efficiency. Very minimal movements. You only do what you need to do, especially in the distance races. And then he builds into the race and goes a half second faster at the end of the race than he does at the beginning, which is called negative splitting. So it's all right there in this great effort. I'm going to jump around in the race here as we show you um, what happens. So I want to show you this straight away first. No, we've talked about this a lot. And no one's perfect. This is a little bit open here. A little bit less lateral compression than you want the knee in. But the key thing is it works for Graham, and he moves right with that skate so early. And he's so on top of that pressure, and that's what you want to be in a 10,000. This is what you want to see, because if you get too much outer, if, for example, he's way out over here and he gets all this outer, it takes a lot of time to carve back. So he's right on that pressure right away. You want to be super early. Look at the drive through the hit zone. Look where he's looking. Anticipating that metric push. That is just absolutely textbook position and very, very minimalist. Very well done. Only one skate on the ice. So that's perfect for his straightaways. David Giotto, a warrior out there. He won the bronze in 10,000. At Beijing, that was great to see. But let's look at the build on Graham's turns here earlier in the race. And what we see, again, is very effective timing, effective angles, nothing collapsed, right down into the ice, very clean, and right on that skate. And watch his right arm. Early reversal means minimal movement, nothing extra, nothing wasted. Let's move later in the race. I want to show you how his technique does not decay at all. He's just jamming his whole race, building on Giotto. So this is where it gets interesting. This lap is a 30 point. 09, and he gets faster from here. So now we've got 29.5, and that's with four laps to go. So 9.5 with four laps to go after you're doing, doing 30 flat. Look at that again, 9.5. He's got four laps to go on 10,000. That says he's great. He's perfectly peaked. He's tapered. His coaches know what schedule to put on him. On and he's on a really, really great time. And it's a world record time and he knows it. But again, the technique is not decaying at all. In fact, it might be even improving because his timing, sometimes the skaters get more intense in their race, their timing actually improves because they want to get off that skate. So they've got a little fatigue. And getting off that skate faster sometimes improves their timing. And this is just really strong exits. So let's watch this in fast motion. Another great lap, 29-7, and it continues to the end of the race. And his coaches are really into it because he's having a world record. So again, if you want to be a great distance skater, watch this over and over in real time and learn from this skater. 9-6 right there with two to go on a 10,000 world record pace. No one's ever done this before, ever. His personal before this was 12:45. Think about that. So he just comes home strong. He's got the last outer or last inner here. And guess what he does? Let's watch him bring it home. This is one of the greatest 10,000 performances ever. And this young man was only 22 at the time. So just, you know, riding the wave. He was just riding the wave of everything. It all came together in one race. And that's what you want to see. And he knew it. World record. Nothing better for a 22-year-old distance skater. And that's our 
video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, ask questions. We're always here to answer you and comment. So let's talk to you later on Speed Skating Deconstructed, what makes a skater great. See ya.